Last video with your downspin. Now we got conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. It's uh, from University Games. It's how I invented conveyor belt by Franklin Wright. Uh, conveyor belt. Is a game of strategy while well, the only thing that changes faster than who is winning is the direction you're moving. Roll to die and move your pawn along the conveyor belt. Play special belt tokens to activate, rotate the arrows to even move to finish somewhere else. What makes a great game? See our entire line at AreYouGame.com Are you game? To play conveyor belt. Alright, so first up we have the board, I guess. The board. Golly. We have the board. Says conveyor belt on this side. It's got like four grids here. And there's the back of the board. We have calling all kids. Can you invent the next Gary game? No, but I could. Could suck. Young game inventors contest inventor board game and win. Yeah, um, unfortunately I think this contest might be expired unless I do it every year. Because, um, whatever. Here's conveyor belt instructions. Damn. Stupid camera. It's not working today. So there's the instructions. Also available is Man Bites Dog, which I have it, and the 2014 National Young Game Inventors Contest winner game. Comment down below if you've ever invented a game. And here's the uh, tokens. You got this die. You got these little pigs. You got these different other tokens. Oh, there's a bunch of tokens. 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 You got this awesome wasted cardboard. What makes it so awesome? Nothing. It's wasteful. Of space. That's why it's not awesome at all. So you got these different like conveyors here with different tokens like go to store trades finish direction changers lose the turn go again so I think you've got to find that finish and here are the different tokens. Now, they missed an opportunity to uh, do a different pattern on the other side. That's what I see. But there's like four of these and they can... If they were double-sided, there's four of these, right? If they were double-sided, you could use both sides. Anyway, the four sides go on the four grids that were on the... Uh, so it's an interchangeable board because these can be put different ways on the grid. So, like I said, you can put these there, but they can be moved into these different ways. So the board can be changed all kinds of different ways because each one of these can be moved to four different areas but it can also be put into four different areas 
So you have all these different boards possibilities. And like this is like how each player starts basically. But like I said, they missed an opportunity by not making these double sided. They could have made more patterns on the other side. Then they would have had even more possibilities. And it looks like it looks like um Uh, youngest player places the start button the start button on the uh, board so they get to decide where the start is there's no start button oh okay this is the start space this is the start space so everybody starts where the start space is, and I believe <laughs> on the end of your turn you can play a belt token. Each player chooses a moving pace, places it on the long start space, turn all the belt tokens face down and mix them up, that's the tokens I showed earlier. Players may look at their own belt tokens, but should keep them hidden. Insert the four mini boards in the player in any order form. The conveyor belt already did that. Player goes. Um, uh, they roll the die, and they basically try to follow it based on the die roll. So they try to follow these arrows in any direction, but they also... At the end of your turn, you can play one of your belt tokens. Uh, uh, there's the type of belt tokens. And you win the game by getting to the finish line. So... I guess there's, uh, I mean, there could be some advanced options, like, maybe, I don't know. Since these can move right here, there could be, like, an advanced option where each turn, a player gets to pick one of these, uh, grids and turn it one side like that, and that would kind of make things... A little more interesting because the directions would be constantly changing. It don't say anything about that in the rules. I just added that. You could do that. And that would make the game harder, I guess, and more strategic. Um, but like I said, I'm, I don't know how old this kid was who invented this game. Um, but he missed some opportunities. Um, like the double sided thing that's a miss um, the only four players that's a miss um, the idea I just came up where you can move these that's a miss um, doesn't really have enough of these conveyor belt tokens I don't think it has enough of these and uh, not enough of them have like special rules. I mean, you got the go again, lose next turn, go to start, trade, and finish. Finish is the worst one because I mean, what what does finish mean? I mean, it should be an end your turn, not finish uh, thing. There should be more options than just those five special ones. And then, and then there's only seven of these. I don't know if the game's complete or not, but there's only seven of these, which really only changes the directions. So, uh, 
there should be more of those direction changing things because it's going to take a while to get to the finish. Uh, especially when the die only has one, two, and three on it. So it's going to take a while to get to it. Um, and if you add the option I was talking about, like moving these left or right, you know, or possibly switching. Here's another idea, you know, like not only could you move it left and right, but you could be like, you could do the switch up or down. Which, you know, you could do switch up and down too. Um, another thing is all this is kind of silly. All this wasted little areas is silly. It's wasted. You could take up half the space if you didn't have this and this. Uh, another option I was thinking is each player could have a different starting space. But then that one kind of, I don't know how that would work because, and both of these could be finishes. So you could try to get to either one, but your opponents are, you know, like I said, they're moving these around this way and that way and, you know, doing this stuff and that stuff and this stuff so each player is moving it around they're putting down a new towel there should be enough of these towels though to cover up all these spaces so eventually everything can be changed so those are a few things that i would have added um and a few other little bonus option little things that i think could have been done especially the double-sided board would have been amazing um but that's been conveyor belt. Um, I guess what I'm saying is that it's not strategizing enough. I mean, it's like a simple kids game that doesn't have that much strategy, even though it's trying to say that it's strategic or whatever. It's not strategic enough. If you added my special rules, it would be super strategic. Anyway, have a great day. And make sure you watch the downfall video too. I mean downspin video too. And remember God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Jesus Lord. Jesus King. And stay tuned for... The next video, which is Totem! Totem! A family strategy game. Remember, God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is ruler of everything. Have a great, wonderful day. Laters. Guys and girls.